What's up, Wikimaniacs? It's your boys. Wow. <laughs> wow. Live the and alive room. from downtown Houston. <laughs> This is nice. How was wow. that? I'm actually Pretty staring good. at you guys. Wow. <laughs> Usually I'm like, where's the, where am I looking? Sean's more clear. He's less, less pixelated than usual. Yeah, usually that's it's just true. my mic that looks nice. Yeah. It's, all <laughs> hair that we see. it's all hair that we typically see in, in the yeah. recordings. Yeah, Sean got a haircut before we came down to I did. stage us. No, John has a fresh cut. I do too, but I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> Damn, yeah. I thought John was in solidarity with me no, this no. whole time. I got a haircut too, brother. I got a nice little fade, crispy fade going Mine on. Mine doesn't look good. <laughs> you look good, looks good, brother. I've got the, the lettuce coming out the back. Hey, the, the lettuce is in, brother. Yeah. The lettuce is in. Yeah. Long hair don't care. That's a hockey term. What? Originally. The lettuce? lettuce? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're in Texas. Beats right? both of us. We don't watch none of that shit. Damn it. That's a sport. <laughs> you guys have made me watch wrestling for the last half hour. We didn't make you. You were taking a nap. Sean and I were watching wrestling. Oh, yeah. We don't have much of an intro to this episode. No. But, uh, no. Yeah. This is the bonus? Or is this the, <laughs> which one did we? Is this Friday? This, this is, is the, the Friday, Friday one. Yeah, 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 oh. Yeah. Have, Sean, Sean uh, is, is, you're on brand as usual, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't Sean know. has asked us a dozen times how many stories he needs to have prepped. Like and twice. I still don't know if he has the right amount. Five. He, he does. He okay. does. I confirmed with everybody. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> what is up, Wikimaniacs? <laughs> as we're recording this, it is December 1st. Wow. I have just landed in Houston. John has just landed in Houston. Yes. We. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> You've been awake for approximately like 15 hours. Oh, it's been way longer than that. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, like, so my flight left at two, well, I, I had uh, to get up. 2 a.m. your time, which is like 1 a.m. here. So like, yeah, like. Yeah. He's been, been up, up. That's 16, 16 hours. <laughs> We're not good at math. How many kilometers? Ah, oh, <laughs> you need to chill. Not uh, the time and place. Not the time, yeah, not the place for yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, so I've been up since 2 a.m. my time, 1 a.m. Houston time, hmm. and uh, two flight delays, uh, but we made it. John yes. also had a delay. I'm all complaining about my flight delay. <laughs> I had a 40-minute flight. <laughs> I mean... I was still bitching and complaining about <laughs> it. I miss Juliet immediately. Bro, <laughs> dude, that's it, real. <laughs> missing vitamin U. Shout out to my girl, man. She's probably making her way here because she's a little crazy like that. But. <laughs> she's outside the door, actually. <laughs> Probably, no. She's producing Dude, that. she sent, I showed Sean, she sent me a text and she was like, I know where you are. I'm like, God damn it. He sent the picture of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I've openly shared my location with Sienna. Yeah, so. I, yeah. Sure. I shared my location. She too. knows, she knows. Uh, but what is up, Wikimaniacs? Happy holidays. Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Chrysler days, whatever they're Honda called. Honda days. Someone Honda said days. they were disappointed and say happy Honda days. Honda so days. What's the one that uh, Toyota Dwight, Thon. Dwight celebrates? Oh, uh, oh, what is that? Ooh. Yeah, the, damn it. I'm drawing a blank. I'm so sorry. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Shut up. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, today's a little bit different. Uh, if you may have noticed, Monday's episode was way different. Oh, yeah. We sounded... A lot. We sounded None smarter. of us were on there. <laughs> I was a little oh, bit. Oh, you were but, on there. Uh, the white we sounded smarter. Appearance, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, Sangria with Sienna. <gasps> back wow. with a holiday themed episode. Wow. Yeah. Where they actually, they stole our bit a bit. They did some Reddit stories. Gasp. Yeah. We need reparations. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> to be fair, I think we need to pay hers. <laughs> true, true, true. She's been... <laughs> She, she does have the most viral clip on our she does. TikTok. She does. Does she? It's the 10 million clip on TikTok. Oh, wow. literally in that episode that released today, Sean. Yeah. You yeah. don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so today's going to be our final real episode mm -hmm. of Reddit on Wiki of 2023. Whoa, oh, whoa. I was like, you paused there for a little too long. <laughs> I'll edit it in post. It won't seem like a pause. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, we got uh, some some best of episodes coming up. Yeah, for the uh, rest of the year. For the rest of the year Keep into sati- satiated. January first, I believe, is the That's last big yeah. word. Yeah, can't even spell that. Satiated. Yeah, yeah. that was wild. I'll spell it uh, on the on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John is the most well rested. <laughs> He's going to come out with the, the smart words today. Yeah, yeah. satiated. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so please enjoy the best of Redditor updates brought to you by Midscore. The goat. <gasps> the goat. Put it basically all together herself. I'll Everything. Just, I just have to edit the, splice the clips together. Peek behind the scene to ask Midscore to put something together for us for like the next few weeks. Not even like an hour in. She's like, done. <laughs> she's That's how much beast. of a goat she is. Holy. Shout out to Midscore. She does more work than Sean, I think. I'm not burning my brother out like that. <laughs> wow. Not here. He's been feeding us. We've been spoiled by him. Wow. With, with the company what? card. But still, <laughs> it's our the money. Act of pulling the credit card out and say, I got this. It's making me feel some type of way. This white devil trying to separate us on Christmas. Can you believe Look, that? He's separating us right am. now. Yeah. Oh my he's God. in between us. I think you guys put me in the middle here. I will not for... throw my brother like that. <laughs> Thank you. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, it's awesome to meet you guys first time. Yeah. Sweet. Josh is really tall or I'm just really short. A little well, bit of both. Both yeah, things I can be say true. It's a little <laughs> both things can be true. I'm not that tall. Damn. <laughs> I'm average, I think. Fuck, I'm below. God damn. <laughs> White people average is much different from Filipino people. Uh, average, you're right. Though. You're right. <laughs> I'm not going to look up that stat, but. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell us all about it? <laughs> yeah. Got the chart right here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we each brought some stories today. Mm-hmm. We're going to read some. We're going to see how long this episode goes. Oh, yeah. You never uh, know. How many pee breaks is going to sh- Sean doing when we're live in person? I do one, maybe two max <laughs> per episode. <laughs> oh, one last thing Ooh, before yeah. we hop into it. Yes. Regarding the Patreon. Yeah. <gasps> From today on to January First, we'll do it. Let's do it first. Yeah, first. Start the new year right. Start the new year right. If you've always wanted Patreon content, but you weren't sure if it was worth it, yeah, or I don't blame you. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Stop (laughs) downplaying our product, Sean. Sean, what the fuck? Nine hundred people think it's very worth it. It's true. I ate so much food today. We need a way to pay for this. (laughs) Uh, But you can sign up. Uh, from today until January 1st for a free seven day trial. <gasps> yeah. uh, and if you love it, stick with us. We had to fight Sean to get approval. We did. Mm. Literally. <laughs> Look at the disappointment. <laughs> and you know, some could say you didn't even really get approval for it. <laughs> some might say, I, don't I just know. announced this. We're going rogue uh, right now. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, sign up. You'll get bonus stories, uh, monthly bonus episode, which we are releasing next week. Yes. Uh, so stay tuned for that Wikimaniacs mm-hmm. on Patreon. Rich Rich. Watch me chug the water that I hate the most. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got some other stuff going on there too. Uh, so uh, go go sign up today. Get another episode this month. And then stick with us through 2024. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. Sweet. Uh, are we ready to hop into the first story? Let's yeah. do it. Do you want me to go first? I guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I can go first. Yeah, it's a Friday. It's only right that you started off. Fair enough, fair enough. Yep. I just have to comment. It's funny to me is that now that we don't have, like, we're not looking at our laptops or whatever, or now that we can look at each other, we're doing that, but we're also still looking at We never <laughs> look. <laughs> what I'm saying is we never look at the camera, no True. matter what we do. Should we start looking at the camera? I don't know. I remember some, one time somebody, I think during one of our TikToks, was like, oh, my God. You guys looking at the camera, like straight face is weird. I don't <laughs> oh. I only like when y'all view down. So <laughs> let's break the fourth wall today and just stare yeah, at them stare the whole at the time. Camera. Yeah. So tell us if you like this or what not. What the fuck is up? Where are your pants? <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, I'll just stare at the camera. Okay. John's just going to mean mug the camera. Uh, this first one is... <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> Back it to looking weird. at the laptop. It it's too weird. weird. Cross posted on r slash am I the devil? Ooh, I, yes. I, I broke out of our subreddit today just for this story because it's MJF. Uh, it's a good one. Am I the asshole? I, 31 male, refused to let my girlfriend, 18 female, throw a yes, party asshole. with her friends at my house. And this is why you don't date 18 year olds when you're 31. <laughs> the big age of 31. The big That's, age. Yeah. 
Wow, that's not good. Yeah, gross. I, I chose this one, obviously, for the Sean rule. Sean rule. Yeah, yeah. I figured it was a must-have in the last episode. <laughs> so Anger. Let's hop into it. <laughs> She's a senior in high school. Jesus oh Christ. Oh my God. The fucking <laughs> still in high school. Okay. So when the 18 year olds are like 18 and out of high school, it's gross. When they're still in high school. That's even worse. You gotta, so you gotta, you gotta know that you're doing something wrong. This, it, so this is a prom after party. I'm guessing. I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> oh Remember the fucking office? Yes. <laughs> with Andy. <Yeah. laughs> Why is my girlfriend here? <laughs> oh, oh, is she a teacher? No, she works at uh, <laughs> Booster <laughs> Juice or something. <laughs> no, like Baskin Robbins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's like counseling students. Mm, I no. don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. So That's this guy it. is Andy. This guy's <laughs> fucking Andy. <laughs> Uh, so she's a senior in high school and her Thanksgiving That's break so starts on Wednesday. Bad. <laughs> and it's not even like... Wait, it's like, it's like, homecoming time. It's yeah. not even like she's about to graduate. She, she just, just started. started. <laughs> she the is devil. She is barely 18. Uh, Terrible. <laughs> to celebrate, she's been begging me to have a party at my house to celebrate, and she wants to invite a lot of girls from her school. <sighs> I really don't feel comfortable with her throwing a rager at my house, especially when most girls, most of the girls at the party will be children. <laughs> Where's the button? Where's the button? <laughs> yeah, we don't have the button today. It's just Press it. <laughs> Press one of the buttons. We'll see what it does. <laughs> you need to take a long look in the mirror, bud. <laughs> it's a bootleg button. <laughs> <laughs> sounds off today. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> Some might say it sounds better though. I don't know. <laughs> let, let, we'll see. More crisp. What people say. Yeah. <laughs> Less compressed. Uh, so in brackets, anyone other than seniors who are born in late November Bro, when you gotta be so specific about this, you got to know that you're dating too young, right? Yeah. When yeah. when the children are closer in age to your girlfriend, <laughs> some might say your girlfriend is it's still a child. Young. I don't know. Where's the logic? A ten year old is closer in age than he is with his girlfriend. Don't say it like that. That's, but it's that's a fact. But it's oh, a fucking fact. It's gross. Oh, no. This guy does not make any sense. No, no. he does not. Um, I guess it's better than him being like they're bringing a lot of girls. I should bring the bros. <laughs> like at least he, he doesn't have friends. No, for sure. No. <laughs> and also, I'm worried they might trash the place or I might be liable for potential loud noise or anything else bad that might happen. Mm. So I suggested she can have a friend or two over that are over 18 and she got mad because both her best friends are 17 and only one of her other friends is 18 plus and she isn't even close to that friend. This is some high school bullshit. Oh my God. <laughs> How are standards, you dating but <laughs> high school? Huh? Like, I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable having literal children in my house. This has to be fake. There's no <laughs> way <laughs> any say, human being uh, typed this out. And yes, I'm aware 18 is not a magic number and people don't change overnight, but law classifies 17 as child and 18 as adult. It just is how it is. She asked me a while ago and has asked me many times to change my mind. And she's been saying, I'm not as cool as she thought I was. Am I the asshole? You're about to get dumped by an 18 year old. How <laughs> fucking embarrassing is, for you. Uh, obviously an asshole, not for the Refusing party, the party thing. Yeah, the, It's your house, I guess, uh, but. <laughs> so not asshole, technically, technically to the question. Worse, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I guess you could say he's an asshole for wanting only 18 year olds to be there. And then considering 17 year olds, it, 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 there's no watching. Yeah, there's none a, in no. any of this. This guy's fucking insane. He's like, I'll date barely legal, legal, but I don't want under. Okay, first, in my house. there's so many like bad, like 18 year olds, bad. High school, <laughs> bad. bad. Just became a senior. Just started senior year. Still got another bad. year. <laughs> pretty, basically, full year of high school left. You, she's <laughs> been eighteen for a month, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> probably a month. But yeah. we gotta answer the question: Are they an asshole for this situation? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> John, don't not on Christmas. Yes. <laughs> not, on, not on Christmas. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. Not, on, <laughs> not during holidays. All right, all right, all right, all right. He's not the asshole. He's the devil. He's the devil. Mm. He's the pedal. The, the well, pedal. He's definitely the that. Pedal. He's the definitely pedal. that. Pedal. Man, 
I can't wait for Wrong. some comments to defend what? him. 18 is legal. I don't understand all Fuck the rules you. that he's setting. All of a sudden, there's like morality between like yeah. in, in his freaking uh, decision to not hold a party. But my brother, you- this guy gives me the feeling that <laughs> if 16 was legal, he'd be like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Invite them over. Yeah. <laughs> When they're literal You're dating a children, I'm like, bro, don't do this. When the law is the only thing preventing you from doing this, yes, that's concerning. Yes, yeah. yeah. You're dating a senior, and you're 13 years of her senior. That's just gross. Gross. It's disgusting. Dude. Why can't you date your old age, <laughs> age man? Oh my god. Uh, I got a funny comment here from Toledo. I uh, said so at first I was kind of skimming and assumed OP was her dad. So I thought, okay, kind of sucks, but very normal for her parents to say no to their teen throwing a party. Ugh. Then I reread it and noticed girlfriend. And I think I threw up a little in my mouth. As you should. <laughs> That's so foul. So disgusting. Like, yeah, I already said 18 year old. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, but then man. all the added facts to that. Just compounds. <sighs> to a devil. The devil. I can go next or you want to go? I go next. I'll piss people right. off even more. <laughs> Mine's bad. <laughs> oh, mine too. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> we're, we're ending on fucking a oops. Uh, why, sad not? Man. why not? Uh, I feel like this is what the people want. You know, it's a holiday season. You shouldn't be happy. Last this one was fun. Year. We clowned on him. That's yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to be happy with this. Yeah, one. Mine's oh, despair. <laughs> All right. Anyways, this is from r slash relationship advice from throw Ray Olona. Mm. He, 25 male, won't propose until I, 23 female, lose more weight. I feel oh. like I'm always on probation with him. How exactly do I diagnose this situation? Mm. This feels like dumping. Yeah. <laughs> right? You could lose a lot of weight by just getting rid of Dead him. weight. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, marriage for better or worse for sickness yeah. and health. And you're already starting off like. No, nah, forget all that. If <laughs> yeah. you're fucking over this amount of strike weight- Strike that line, strike that line. Strike both those lines. <laughs> like if, if they already don't want to marry you because of your weight, you got to imagine that if you got sick, they'd immediately yeah. leave. Oh you. yeah. They don't you love you for I mean? you. Yeah. And the, yeah, they don't want you for you. Yeah. We did a story very recently about the, like you have to get plastic surgery uh, or I won't marry you. Yeah. And then he ends up, not marrying her? He's uh, like, oh, it's fine, I guess. Or, yeah. She, well, she, she broke had, it she off. Ended, she broke she it, broke it, it off, eventually. Yeah. But he but still was not. He was super was chill about with it. it. Yeah. He was like, yeah. He's more mad about the real estate. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> wow. Fuck. Oh, you remember the story, I can't remember that so I feel like ever since I said that, my my mind is like, <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. you. <laughs> I'm my mind to my other mind. This just is out of spite now. Yeah. I'm, I'm here to remember all these story. important facts <laughs> and now just shove it with Reddit stories. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 23 female, and my boyfriend, 25 male, have been together for a few years now. How many? When I initially met this man- <laughs> Wait, what were the ages again? 23, 23 and, 20. and 25. Yeah, it was, it's okay. not crazy. Yeah, I was just fucking around. Right. <laughs> when I initially met this man, I was about a size 18, whereas he's fit, Really great job, handsome, and so on. I was slash am shy, quiet, and really the opposite of him in terms of personality traits. I have to admit that I pursued him for years before he gave me any reasonable interest, mm. did everything I could to serve him and support him in all his endeavors, from him finishing his degree, getting an excellent job, and buying a house. Damn, they bought Damn, at 20, 25? I still can't buy a house. Get on, Holy <laughs> shit. I've been there with him through thick and thin. But he's he always made my weight a major issue. So he hasn't been with you through thick and thin. No. Yeah, definitely, definitely not. not. That was a John. Oh, pun. was that a pun? That was a John oh. pun. Yeah, I'm proud. It's I even, can dap you up. If now. it's even better Whoa. in person, I'm, I'm so in love. Right we don't now. have to do the. To the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, there's no <laughs> lag in between fist bumps either. I fucking love you guys. Um, he would really torment me about it, and and part of the reason he refused to put any label on our relationship for years. Because of it. Eventually, Jesus. I, I lost a ton of weight. Within a year and a half, I dropped to a UK size 10. Um, I've made changes to every single area of my life to level up to him and meet all his requirements. But yet, still, it's not enough. He still constantly picks at my weight and points out that I still have fat to get rid of. Jesus. I'm 72 kilograms. Help, Josh. Oh, well. 72 kilograms. I, we measure in pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, we're kind of uh, fucked up that way. We do kilograms. You do, you do, you do. Our heights are in feet and inches. And Sorry. <laughs> While Sean looks, 
Um, he recently said that in order for him to propose, I have to lose more weight. I've really tried, but it's been difficult to really shift past this point now. He's made comparisons with my mom's size that he never wants me to get to that size in the future. And I have to make a vow to him to ensure that. It's really painful as well as I've opened up to him that my mom's weight is one of the reasons my parents' marriage failed. Oh, so he knows that. He knows that. He so he knows the insecurity it. and just digs deeper. Yeah, but yeah. also like he's just not accepting your mom. This like, he so- doesn't accept your family yeah. either, which yeah. is shitty. It kind of sounds like she kind of supported him like throughout like school. From what it sounds like, right? Like she did all everything yeah. for him, like school, buying a house. Yeah. And oh, this guy sucks. Yeah. Um, what oh, wait, her- she bought the house? It sounds like, I mean, she definitely contributed to get the house. Well, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. But anyway, either way, like she supported him through schooling School. to yeah. get to, uh, which can be stressful. I mean, chances are if he's going to school, that means she's probably doing the majority of like the or, work. Or working and paying yeah. off rent or something like that. Yeah. My God. Um, what hurts also is I feel like I've spent the past few years as his personal assistant. As much as I've done to support him, he doesn't really consider me a part of him. When he bought his first home, I spent so much money helping to make it into a home, buying dishes, bedding, and so forth, but he'd make passing comments that I act as if it's my house. I was very much involved in assisting him to attain the house, even with giving him a large sum of money towards his deposit. Okay, so there you go. It's confusing because I feel like he's been such, uh, he's been such a benefit to my life by helping me to be strong and strive uh, achieve things that I wasn't motivated enough to do before meeting him. But I am mo- I am worried if I will actually get a ring. I don't think you will. And I don't think you should from this guy. Yeah, no. I don't think you should want. No, no. that, but you I also I mean? don't think you will. Yeah, but yeah. Because <laughs> I think he's going to just keep moving the goalposts. Yeah. And, that, and then he's going to get to a point where he's just like, oh, you've lost too much weight or whatever. Like, I could feel him flipping like that. You know or what I mean? It's just never going to be enough. Well, That's probably that. the perfect, yeah. Uh, and be now, one or the other. <laughs> yeah, and, and, for sure. And top comment by OK Midscore point four three zero two. Uh, they said you really need to change your thought process here. This man is not a prize, and mm. a ring is not a goal. He's with you because you're a doormat, not because he loves you. Mm. You can't make him respect you, but you can learn to respect yourself. Hell so, yes, I completely agree. Raise those bars, absolutely. So uh, just because I googled it. Uh, uh, a kilogram equals two point two pounds. Okay, but how much is one fifty? So she's like one fit. She's like one fifty eight. One fifty normal. Yeah, That's normal. Normal. <laughs> That's <how> normal. <laughs> I don't know how like sizes like work. Like eighteen to ten. I don't know what that is. Like, no, UK I don't size. know either sizes either. Like, but what's a UK ten? Is that different from a US ten I have or no a Canadian idea. ten? But still, like one one fifty is like. Seems like a healthy range, right? Yeah. Like, oh, for sure. And plus, like weight is—I so, don't know. But also, weight is so subjective. You know? it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> I've seen comments like about our doctor saying shit. That we're about, oh, like, people hate your doctor, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our doctors are kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for defending me. <laughs> <laughs> My eating, I should get a new doctor. Our eating habits are okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny because we'd brought it up, but it'd been a while ago, and so I think a lot of new Wikimaniacs were like. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, we're like fuck your doctor. You say that as we just like demolish like <laughs> how many pounds of barbecue? <laughs> yeah. We I walked. We ordered <laughs> between the three of us three pounds yeah. of meat. So a pound so much meat. each. More and meat then, than I've eaten in two weeks, probably. Yeah. Josh put so much meat I in his mouth. Two <laughs> large bacon macaroni and cheeses, like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> So and then when I was there, I was like, also two sausage links. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. But I feel like we we almost finished it. We, we almost crushed it's it. It's almost done. Yeah. If we had a fourth host, we could have finished that. Oh, Definitely. easily. <laughs> easily. You, you know how we can possibly afford a fourth host? I was going to say afford the meal that afford we just Afford a ate. meal as well. <laughs> could take a quick ad break. <gasps> wow. Wow. And we're back. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, me. You're up. Yeah, it's my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy that is my new pass one. off. <laughs> Welcome back. And we're back. Okay, so this one, it's Friday. So I decided from r slash a i t i h. Steal from the white man. Steal from the rich. <laughs> All right. Uh, this I found on Twitter, surprisingly. Whoa. Ooh. It's yeah. an axe. You mean. <laughs> 
You mean why? I don't. <laughs> I don't mean it. <laughs> why do we call it X? Why do we call it X? <laughs> Uh, this was, uh, they didn't cross post from our uh, subreddit, so I'm not Ooh, giving them the, the shout unfortunate. out. Unfortunate. Sorry, I hate to say it. But this is, am I the asshole for believing my daughter over a quote unquote grown man? Wait, for the, believing your daughter? No. Mm-hmm. Why, why would you be? That's your, yeah, like, I can't it's, imagine. It's your kid. You should believe your kid. I have so many meat burps right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're gonna if you're watching the episode, you're gonna see how oh, many times I turn my head to <laughs> oh, I'm covering my belly effect. with a pillow yeah. right now just because it's full of brisket. <laughs> yeah. This jacket was not on earlier. <laughs> when I saw myself in the camera, I was like, well, I guess a jacket wouldn't look so bad. You want okay. a pillow? <laughs> no. I got one here next to me just in case the jacket doesn't suffice. All right. I don't know if I watch too many crime shows or if I'm just paranoid. So I've come here to ask. Last week, I made chicken gnocchi soup. When it was almost done, I started helping my daughter with a school project. She got us both a bowl, and a few seconds later, my boyfriend runs into the room with a bowl and tells me to eat the bowl he has. I told him it was all the same, and he insisted that he wanted mine because it had more chicken. Thinking back now, I don't know how he would know that considering my daughter is the one that dished it out. My daughter took the bowl he gave me and said that she would eat it. He yanked it out of hand and said, no, it's for mom. What? I took the bowl. Are they getting poisoned? I was going to say. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> this is a, it's some arsenic in this bitch. <laughs> he seems very adamant about yeah. who gets what bowl. Like some British monarch shit where they yes. <laughs> assassinate like yeah. emperors and you guru, bro. The fucking like TikTok Cusco. mixing the, the cyanide. <laughs> 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 I took the bowl and he went to the living room. I continued doing my daughter's project and told her not to eat the soup. 20 minutes later, I walked into the kitchen to pour the soups out and he was still eating his. He asked why we didn't eat any. And I said, The cat got into it while we were waiting for it to cool down. He screamed, what? (laughs) Was it your bowl? Cats can't eat that. I I think he poisoned. I think I told him it was only a lick, but he has been stressed out watching the cat like a hawk. Obsessive even. His reaction is very weird. These quote unquote accidents all happened before the soup incident over the span of six months. Mm -hmm. It wasn't one after another in a short time period. Since then, my emergency money has gone missing. Oh, I keep money hidden just in case. I lost my older sister because she wasn't able to escape a dangerous situation and I literally swore on her grave I would never be in that position. Oh my God. What the fuck? This is some true crime shit. This (laughs) is some true crime shit. Hope he does listen to too much true crime. I do too. I feel like they've they've lived it. (laughs) Yes. Yes. They're living it currently. After the soup incident, I went to get my money and it was gone. It was hidden and I changed the location every few months. Mm -hmm. I asked my daughter if maybe she found it and that if she took it, I wouldn't be mad because I knew she couldn't have spent all of it. She said no. A few hours later, she tells me she forgot, but the other day, her and my boyfriend got pulled over and she saw my pink wallet in his glove box. Dun, dun, dun. I did not tell her which wallet it was in or that it was in a wallet. I decided to ask him if he found it by accident. He asked me why I was hiding a large amount of money. That's so, so kind of admitting to it. Yeah. Like (laughs) that you stole the money. Yeah. Quote, you know, you could never leave me and laughed. Ooh, this is bad. He has... Never said anything like that before to me. I told him it was for my daughter's Christmas present. He said, no, he didn't find the money, but could use his credit card for gifts if needed. I didn't tell him about my daughter seeing my wallet in the car. Now, here are a few other things that have happened in the past few months that seemed random at the time, but now they don't seem so much. I mean, right off just that information, I'd be gone. Dude, <laughs> out of the house. Like this is That's when the scary mu- music starts playing yes. and you're like everything was fine the house. <laughs> until <And> then, it <laughs> wasn't. And it goes black and white. <laughs> yeah. Until it wasn't. It was I had to look at the, the camera for that. Until it wasn't. 
It was half past nine. <laughs> <laughs> the rain pattered against the windows. Oh my God. What time is it? Oh my God. <laughs> what time is it now? That's too real. Um, hey, Sean actually locked the door, right? We good? <laughs> oh shit. Sean was in charge of the door. The door the locked. The door locked. The door locked. I have a severe allergy to latex. Mm. One day Condoms. we were about to have sex. <laughs> oh my God. And I glanced at the mirror we have by our bed and saw the condom wrapper was a different color. Oh my. I stopped him because it wasn't latex free. And he said it was a mistake and just an older one that he had. We've been dating for over two years. Oh, shit's expire. <laughs> and he knows how serious my allergy is. My EpiPen that I keep in my room is missing and I didn't realize it. Oh, I dude. didn't realize it was missing until I was searching for my money. Another odd thing is one day he was following me down the stairs while I was carrying laundry and kicked the back of my leg and I fell. What the Ain't fuck? No way. Why aren't you leaving? He said he slipped, but the stairs are wood and he was wearing his steel toe boots. <gasps> First of all, you could tell they're white because there were boots inside the inside house. The house. Yeah. yeah, what Disgusting. are you doing wearing shoes? What do you mean white? That's an American thing. Oh, that's yeah, not that's a, true. a white person. No, I don't know, fam. Like, I don't see any other race that. No one in Canada wears. Oh, for real? Okay, so it is yeah, well, American. To be thing. fair, that might be a more northern thing because boots, right? With oh. like mm, slush maybe. and stuff. Maybe. No one wants to track. It's even that. worse. Yeah, that's why they don't. That's why we don't do it. Okay, good, good, good. Americans, you suck. Southern, maybe. I don't know. No, they still suck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Most of our audience. <laughs> Love you guys. Also us, technically. Not me. Not you. <laughs> me and John. Honorary. Am I overthinking this? No. 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 Definitely not. My anxiety has been at an all-time high. Do I watch too much true crime? I mean, it's good that you are. Yeah. Yeah, you're picking the shit up. Exactly. <laughs> Well, You're, is she? Because she's letting a lot yeah, of it she's slide. Letting it go, right? This has been six months of <laughs> attempted murders. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Here is why I think I might be the asshole. We have a good relationship. He loves my daughter like she is his own. We split all shared bills. We, put, we both pull our own weight around the apartment. We don't fight. He has never so much as raised his voice at me. We are paycheck to paycheck, but bills are paid. Are you trying to kill you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought about going to my mom's house for a few days and asking him when I could get there when I'm safe about the money, but I don't have the money to do that now. She is on a fixed income and can't help. I guess talking about the mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel stupid for being this scared. Last night, I decided to check his car from my wallet and he caught me. So he's oh, watching her the whole God. time, bro. Oh my I'm God. scared. Um, I asked him for the money back and he tried playing dumb. I told him my daughter saw it there. He told me she was lying. Oh. I told him I never told her about the money or what wallet it was in. He said he was a grown man and kids lie all the time. I asked him once more for my money and he said, I'm not giving you money to leave me. I waited until he was in the shower to grab my cat and my daughter and we left. I can't take my cat with us to a shelter and the DV shelters are full. I was able to get us a night at a cheap motel. This exact situation is why I had money saved. I did everything right, and now I'm screwed. Dude. I feel like I just blew up my entire life. God damn. Escape fund. Remember we had an escape fund story? We did, yeah. This is like another scenario of that. And yeah. to get away from creepers, like, dude, attempted murder, yeah. <laughs> first of all. Multiple times. Multiple times. Definitely try to poison yeah. first time around. Tried to kick you down the stairs. Tried to kick you down the stairs. The latex, latex, latex. Yeah. who knows what others, the fact that like every move that you take, he's there just watching. Every move you <laughs> he, he is watching you. He definitely is watching you, bro. Uh, yeah. Is this Santa? <laughs> it's crazy how many love songs, if you just change the tone it's a little bit. are so shit. creepy. It can be so scary. It's like creepy. It's like any rom-com. You immediately change any of the, like the music to dark. Suspenseful yeah, music, like what they did with Ross on Friends. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like, uh, like Christmas oh songs God. are all cre like a lot of Christmas songs are creepy. Well, like, just the romantic, like ones. a baby. What is it? Baby, oh, it's cold, cold outside. outside. I'm like, very, that's a rape song. Yeah, bad. Yeah, it is. This is not consensual at all. Yeah, but yeah, Matt. Uh, yeah, it's good that you left. It's good that you had like the wherewithal to be like, oh, oh my God, he's in the shower. Run. Yeah, that was the smartest thing you did. But you were kind of oblivious for six months, not victim blaming or anything. Because I'm sure a, it's tough when everything else seems so good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
you don't want to believe your partner's oh. going to try to kill you. Yeah. Well, what for though? Like there, it sounds like, okay. So I, I too watch too much true crime. <laughs> um, they're, they're not married, right? No. She calls him boyfriend. Boyfriend. So yep. chances are it could be possible that he's in her life insurance at some point. If that's her house, he could possibly inherit that. But it seems like the daughter might be more. But he'd be seen as a father figure, so he'd get the deed to the house probably. Maybe. Until she's old. So enough. really, his play is like the, the emergency money and like the house possibly and other properties. It's wild to me that people prioritize money over their loved ones. And taking a li- taking a life. Like, I, guess, I mean, I guess it's not his yeah. loved one. He doesn't care about her. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, call the cops, bro. Yeah. And try and get your money back. Oh, for sure. Oh, man. That, that, that is, re- that's so scary. Like <laughs> just being in that scenario, like having everything be so perfect, but then like one off incidents every month being like, that motherfucker, I think tried to kill me. <laughs> you tried well, to a lo- kill me? A lot of steals the EpiPen. That's crazy. That is wild. A lot of true crime stories are like that though. Like they always yep. paint like, oh, the relationship was so great. Like there's no red flags or warning flags or anything. And then murder, murder. And it seemed like they tried several times to do it. Was your top po- podcast on Spotify? Oh, definitely. Was Morbid. Dateline. Morbid. <laughs> Morbid was like my number one. And another true crime podcast from the Philippines. Last story of the day. Is it? Oh, well, for you. For us. A rotation. Well, for until Patreon, right? So how many stories do y'all have total for this? Two. 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 So this is the last one. And then me and John's are on Patreon. Oh. Oh, shit. Y'all motherfuckers trying to get me. This is all on camera. <laughs> they try to outsmart. I see. So Sean's locking these behind the Patreon. I too am confused. <laughs> so Am I incorrect? I'm right. I right? Think we he, could do that if I you think, want. Yeah. I think he's Wait, right. What were you trying to put on Patreon? What was for Patreon then? We're going to do a Patreon bonus story episode. A whole bonus episode, but they they, they get their two bonus Friday You're episodes right. too. He is right. He is right. I'm fucking yeah. right, y'all. He is right. I'm looking out for the patrons. <laughs> he is right. So this is the last story we'll do before we hop into the patreon although we haven't done a second ad break we should do that we can do it right now (laughs) and we're back (laughs) (laughs) that was chaotic Uh, (laughs) all right last story i got here before we hit the patreon thank you sean thank you sean patreon patreon Patreon. Patreon. something like that another vibes we'll do it uh cross posted by one of the goats of the year dog mint score vader Ooh, yeah our subreddit r slash reddit on wiki oh yeah am i the asshole for leaving my sleeping date at the theater oh yes <laughs> of course wait it's common courtesy so, to just be like it says done. wait he says wait wait <laughs> i gotta say no wait leaving your date leaving your sleeping, sleeping date, date at, at the, the theater i gotta say no uh, I'd probably say this was like a bad date scenario and uh, pretty was, rude to fall asleep on a it date. It was one of those exactly. That's that's also a social also, etiquette. If like your not, first date is a movie. That's a bad first date. I feel like I agree with that. I agree with that. Talking at I all. agree with that sentiment. But like, if it's your first date, that's your first impression. So why would you fall asleep to make a good impression in your said date? Yeah, I mean, why would you take him to a movie for a good impression? Maybe you really have a movie you want to see, but don't want to go alone. True. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're saying yes. I'm saying no. We're not getting punished this month. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Matter. It's the holidays. The season of giving. I'm not going to yeah. punish anyone. All right. So, hey, all. I went on a date with a guy. So I he's a guy already. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> this guy sucks. I really hit it off via text. Everything went well. We were very attracted to each other and spent a day or two texting before meeting up. Okay. Okay. Good. So this is a first date scenario for sure. This is a first date scenario. Mm-hmm. Yeah. John is looking pretty correct right now. <laughs> looking pretty right. How does it feel to get the prediction right in person this time around, Sean? Is it as a- uh, Wait, I got it wrong, didn't I? No, no. I'm saying like, how do, how do you feel seeing it live in person? Oh, seeing greatness live and in person. <laughs> What's take, I'm wrong? He's I'm taking, just talking he's shit He's taking right notes. It's pretty <laughs> silly. How the fuck did he do this? Uh, after work today, we decided to have our first date. Mind you, we were both- 28 male and 30 female uh, got there. He was already three drinks deep. I decided to catch a drink or two to catch up, ease off of nerves. He also decided to keep drinking and occasionally snatching up, uh, snatches up my shots in the brackets. I never finish at once. I usually sip to finish them. So he was just Bad stealing day. her shots. That's crazy. Getting fucking Three wasted. drinks in and then stealing your date's drinks on a first <laughs> date. Mm-hmm. Bad etiquette. 
I mean, I get maybe if he was like, oh, I'm nervous. I got to take a dr- like, have a drink. Sure. Take the edge off. Like what One she or did. two. Liquid courage. Three and yeah. then stealing the shots, shots is crazy. <laughs> Should have thought about that. As she's, and I think she is still drinking these shots. She's just sipping them. Yeah. And he's going, Ham. yoink. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you babies in there? <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Uh, in person, conversation is less imaginative. Mm. We start talking and he starts the convo by telling me how much he hates short hair on women. Ouch. Mine is shortest. Oh, Ooh. but I pull it off. So I like the confidence. Hey. Oh yeah. yeah. Then he goes to look for a photo or, of something. As he is scrolling through his gallery, he mentions he has pictures uh, and video of A, his junk. Oh no. B, is having sex with other women. Oh no. C, his threesomes with his ex. Jeez. And then in brackets, he asked me if I've ever been in a threesome. Pretty much trying to see, gauge out if she's she'd be down. Yeah, trying to gauge whether yeah. she's down. D, he reveals his ex, who he insisted was just an ex-girlfriend up until now. It was his ex-fiance, actually. E, his frat escapades and adventures. This is a disaster date if I heard one. So this isn't like, at first I thought this was multiple choice. Like, no, like it's he only, only did one the of them. these. I thought he'd only did one of these. It's all we were supposed all. to guess. He did all of it. Welcome to the shitty gallery show. Uh, Sean, $200 on his junk. <laughs> what is a bad date? Correct. Wow. <laughs> That was incredibly terrible. All of those things within the oh my God. five minutes he's <laughs> scrolling through Wild. his phone. Crazy. Uh, I must have invisibly expressed my disgust. He picks it up a bit and apologizes for hurting my feelings, quote unquote. Ugh. I reply, I find it tacky, especially considering he asked me out and expressed an intent to date for a serious relationship. And his words was past that part of his life. This is such an Andrew Tate guy. Yeah. We leave and he doesn't want to part ways. Wants me to make, wants to make it up to me. We go to another spot. He orders six beer flights and downs four by himself. Poor liver. <laughs> Obnoxiously drunk and all over me. Suggestive, flirty, trying to kiss me. Asking if I want to go to the movies. So it's not even, this is after being hammered. Oh my God. Wait, is this like a... I guess theaters are open late, but I mean, like, <laughs> what time did they yeah, start? What time are you starting this? This guy was this drunk at like 5 p.m. <laughs> well, it was right after work, right? Yeah, true. So 5 p.m. Yeah. You got like, what, a few hours to get fucked up? Yeah, and then you go to a 9 Movies p.m. show. Like eight-ish, nine-ish. Yeah, damn. <laughs> I can forgive being drunk, though. I'm slowly over it. I don't know if I could forgive that. Uh, hell no. That's a bad impression. Yeah. 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 Not great. In the theater, he lies to the ticket attendant, sneaks us in, in brackets, he's a fucking lawyer, mind you, he can afford it, buys me snacks, and passes out 15 minutes into the movie. I'm well over it by now, by this point. He had hinted several times how he wants to leave and hook up. I try to wake him up. No dice. Every time I try, he snores louder and louder. (laughs) So I left him there. It was a terrible date and night. He called me when I got home an hour later to apologize, but also insisted I'm an asshole. Called, <laughs> called me fat. Oh, told me he had to drink to tolerate me, etc., and cussed me out. He says I'm insecure. I know he uses Reddit, and I don't care. Am I the asshole? No, I'm no, no. no. shit. I, can we use this on TikTok and hopefully he sees this? Bit? <laughs> I hope we saw it on Reddit. I hope he does too. <laughs> Golly. Okay, you weren't drinking. Because of her. You were three drinks in already. Yeah. Before she even got there, before you saw her in person. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I couldn't have been more wrong on this one. <laughs> uh, what can I say? But you're welcome. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Crazy. I don't know. There's, I don't know how many red flags were in that date. Yes. I mean, 20, he listed 30. out all the letters. <laughs> Seriously, for, for, for like a lawyer, he has no defense on this shit. Like, he's just totally fucking incriminated all yeah. the stupid shit you did. He had evidence A, B, C, D, and E, and he fucked it all up. And there was At way first, more. I thought he was get it, trying to get her drunk so he could do some weird shit, but he was stealing her drinks. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, he was just, just all around up. just a piece of shit. Unprompted <laughs> dick pics, sex videos. All of it. Insane. How Crazy. do you even... 
happened upon that during. Why would I, you show that to hey, anybody? Check out my camera roll and then hits play on fucking a sex tape. Multiple <laughs> sex tapes. I like the picture. He was like, just. And then whatever one he clicked on first was like, we're going to look at this picture. <laughs> it was all the worst pictures. <laughs> Here's my dick. <laughs> Dating sounds so terrible. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, 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 so lucky. Yeah. yeah. Same. Dating sounds I'm so awful. glad I got married early. <laughs> I would have lost the dating world. Yeah. I'm glad I found my person. <laughs> hey, I'm glad we all found our person. Yeah. And if you haven't much respect, I have, we understand the battle that it is. We yes. read all these stories. It's tough. Yeah. It's terrible out there. We're for hurt sure. for you. Late nerd on our subreddit said, ladies, this is your daily reminder to please leave at the first red flag and not keep tolerating this shit. It doesn't get any better. Yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, ladies, ladies and, and gentlemen. gentlemen yeah. Yes. And anyone and, in between. And I feel like a lot of bars too um, has like a protocol where it's like if you yeah. feel unsafe, a lot of bartenders are just like, hey, I don't feel safe. They'll usually escort you. I've known, I've been to places where like bars when some of my friends feel uncomfortable, they're like, yeah. I got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And, and some bartenders really took care of them. So shout out to those oh, yeah. cool ass bartenders. Or if you are you are concerned, like- uh, Call a friend if you have some. Yeah, call a friend, share share location, whatever, yeah. um, with a friend or a trusted loved one. Mm. Um, as I always say, coffee places during the day, great place to meet up in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. First dates. Did you see uh, that, what do you call it? That, uh, I think it was like a list that people compiled and they were like, Worst places for oh first Oh my God. Day. Cheesecake factory being number one. <laughs> yeah. That was also funny. coffee dates are on there. And it's like, wait, I thought coffee dates were good. Uh, ice cream dates was there. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, wait, what's wrong with ice cream? Yeah. See, I think, I don't know who made that. List. Cause like, I think coffee dates later on dates for sure. Those could be like boring. Yeah. But like for first date, great spot to meet up. Yeah. I always say this, you get a coffee. If it's going well, you get another coffee or you go for a walk. Cause it's during the day. <laughs> Usually. Me and Julia went to Disney World our first date. <laughs> Every we, first date you took them to Disney World? No, like that was our very, very first date. Oh, you day and Julia. Disney World. We're in a different yeah. tax bracket. Yeah. <laughs> I could afford a dollar coffee. I won a beer pong <laughs> tournament and I spent it on her. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I won so what a gentleman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to close us out or should I? No. I mean, take okay. the reins, brother. <laughs> All right. This is We're your city from the Patreon. <laughs> that's it for this episode. That's the last new episode of the year. Yes. Uh, yes. Everything going forward, like we said at the beginning of the episode, will be a best of uh, curated by the goat of goats. goats. Mid, mid score. score. Yeah. But she's anything but mid. No. She's best score. Top best score. Sc top, top score. score. Yeah. <laughs> High score. <laughs> High score. There we go. There it is. Damn, she's going to change her name now. <laughs> we won't know who it is. Yeah, yeah we'll be so <laughs> confused. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, but, but we got a Patreon bonus episode coming out next week. Yes. Uh, we're going to do some stories there. And speaking of the Patreon, you can sign up today. Yeah. Get a seven day free trial. Yeah. Whoa. And then if you love the content that you got there, slash if you can't get it, get through it in seven days, uh, you know, sign up, hop on, support your boys. So we can do this more. So we can do this. Yes, so we can visit each other more. Yes. And buy Sean large Mac and cheeses. And watch Josh what a put huge mistake. meat in his mouth. <laughs> but I'll let Sean close out the rest of it. Oh, okay. Like the true professional he is. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. I love that we planned this together and yes. we're all in agreement <laughs> that this is how we want to end we the are year. In we're oh, yeah, we definitely the planned this together. <laughs> you should pay attention to our meetings. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you for listening to the show. Uh, thank you guys so much. If you've been here all year, more than that, thank you guys. Uh, we wish you a happy Honda days. We'll see you in the new years. If Mary you need Chrysler. more of us, links are in the show notes. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye, Bye guys. With That's us. fucking crazy. <laughs> You're, You're 54 grown, years old, man. <laughs> oh, you go to a grocery store and shop for yourself? <laughs>